Cafe Anyway. Welcome to Cafe Anyway. It's Mike's Daddy Podcast. And it's FF episode 2772, 2772. Hey, it's an automatopia. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, no, wait, that's not right. It's a, what's that other thing that I always forget? Not an anagram, not a, a coquette, not a something that is the th- reverse of what you get the amount coming back. It's not a, hmm. Um, Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm just going to. Ignore what I was talking about earlier and move on to a different topic. It's Mike's something daily that podcast. The amount of words, yeah. words going in as out. This is what we don't even outgoing words containing out words that contain out of in and out burger. Oh, I went to one of those recently. It's, it's all, you know, they're not very big burgers. I know a lot of you don't want to eat a lot of burgers. Maybe you don't, you don't even want to eat a burger at all. Maybe you just are like, okay, I get it. I live in California. in and out Burger is a thing. That's wonderful, Mike. I would rather just ignore it. But it is, it is here. And they, well, it's not here in Podcaster Valley. And it's not even close by in Oakland because they left. Because there's too many break-ins So I, I All I know is that the fries are cooked in Is it sunflower oil? Which is one of the better oils It's not as viscous it, Viscous is that when it gets Stopped up in your veins, isn't it? Viscous, or maybe that's the opposite At any rate, it's better for you Because it gets through your Your system better It doesn't clog up your arteries That's what I meant to say Hey, you know what? Theaters are totally relying on Dune 2. And here's today's podcast picture. Oh, this is that cool doc, the podcast picture, that goes out in San Francisco. Well, you got a great view. Uh, It's it's near the television stations, is what I'm saying. And you got a good view of the Trans-American Building and the Salesforce Tower and all that stuff. And see that cool picture that I took over the weekend with my wonderful cousin visiting, Anki, who you hear at the beginning of all the podcasts. The late great Basil the Boxer never walked around the Embarcadero, but I'm sure he would have enjoyed it. I just could never find parking. But there he is barking. So yeah, theaters on relying, they're relying on Dune 2. More than two years after Dune Part 1, moviegoers are heading back. They are going to have $26 sandworm popcorn buckets to buy. The Sandy Epic was supposed to hit theaters in November, got delayed after Hollywood strike struck, and the strike forced a promotion pause. With an as- anticipated $60 million to $80 million opening weekend, Dune's follow-up is poised to be the biggest movie of the year so far. U.S. box office sales are down 15% for the year. The two record low weekends this month. This show is clean. That's right. It is. Let's see how Dune Part 2 did. It looks like it was the... It revived the barren box office. Ah, Oh, it is aiming for a spicy $80 million debut spice Because isn't spice a thing? It's uh, It will dust off the box office With $170 million in its global debut They say The US box office sales are down 15% for the year Woo! Yes, that's not good Streamless, part of Part 1's pandemic era hybrid release was a success. It grossed 402 million. Considering the first Dune hit theaters and streamer Max at the same time, the sequel's big screen only debut could give it an edge. 
Because before, remember, we had to watch things on streaming services. Analysts expect revenues to dip 5% from last year and 20% versus the average gross of... Addenda with Kevin. That out to Kevin. If your name's Kevin, that went out to you. That was uh, with the average gross of recent pre-COVID years. That's 20% versus those pre-COVID years. Avatar The Way of Water brought in $2.3 billion globally since its December 22 release, 2022 release, while the Barbenheimer duo grossed over $2 billion. Mike is on it, man. Man, go where no man has gone before. We love it, Mike. I'm trying anyway. That all from Rob Black. He does a podcast. He does a show. I produce his podcast, and he is heard locally on the radio. On AM 1220 KDOW weekday mornings. And he is also on television on Cron in the nine o'clock hour. Ward Buffett has seen the future. The 93 year old. Yes. This is Mike's Podcast Picnic. We are here enjoying a delicious buffet in honor of Warren Buff Buffett. Buffet And here at Cafe anyway There's a little bit Of uh, Wait we've gone um, Multicultural A little Italian food here A.K.A. spaghetti We have some Filipino Food here Lupia And then we have um, What is this I guess that might be Sauerkraut So some German here And um, And you're here So that Makes all of this Worthwhile But the 93 year old he said there's no possibility of eye-popping performance in, com- in the coming up years. Berkshire has made plenty of deals to acquire or pump money into companies. And speaking of food, Dairy Queen is one of them. Geico. And Allegheny. That's the insurance company. Allegheny? As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Silly Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. The last place on earth. In the land of Ameritopica. Anyway. Ah, so beautiful out here. At the start of 2022, Berkshire had poured more than $50 billion into stocks. But those days look to be in the past. The company will pursue anything that looks unique and lucrative. But right now, not many businesses seem to excite Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway record cash pile of $168 billion can attest to that. He doesn't like stock APPs. He says markets now exhibit far more casino like behavior than they did when. You are a man. Sometimes you wear stretchy pants. Than when they did when I was young. He says the casino now resides in many homes and daily tempts the occupants. Casinos Too much like a casino Berkshire Hathaway sold off 10 million shares of Apple stock In the final three months of last year Representing about 1% of its holdings in the company They still own more than 905 million shares worth About $174 billion So 905 million shares worth Equates to $174 billion You know, I mean, people, you know, people get stuck on stupid You know what I mean? It's true Of Apple Oh, CVS is partnering with Grubhub To deliver goods from 6,000 stores in 48 states The partnership comes more than a year after Grubhub Teamed up with Rite Aid Oh, Grubhub That's interesting I wonder how how they're doing against the... Uber Eats Because I know my lovely lady friend likes to use the Uber Eats But Does Lyft have something? Lyft Eats? I don't know Beyond Meat reports tomorrow It's stock is down MTV News You hear it First Hey the new David Bowie album comes out No it doesn't Ah uh, it's sad why did I bring up David Bowie? He's not in Dune. Sting is. David Bowie should have been in Dune, but instead he was in The Man Who Fell to Earth. 
And a couple other films He was in um, The Prestige He played Nikola Tesla In Colorado Springs Playing with lightning I don't know why Holding court With Lady Katie Lady Katie Don't know who that is In a pea protein pickle Beyond Meat reports That its stock is down 50% Since the start of last year Not helping beef With US meat lobbies Which have outspent Alt meat competitors By Over 190 times Worth of money they've spent They've spent over 190 Times the amount That I don't know who Compares with But they're spending a lot of money And speaking of Tesla Not Nikola Tesla But the other one Tesla rival BYD Launches electric supercar That could take on Ferrari It's gonna cost $233,000 And it'll be called the U9 The U9 will be able to reach a top speed Of 192 miles per hour Sounds like a spaceship Oh And speaking of spaceships Lunar landing The intuitive machines Travel into the incredible universe In Traveling in the universe The intuitive machines Odysseus 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 Sends back the first images from the moon The lander caught its landing gear In the moon's surface While touching down And it tipped over (laughs) Yes It's because of you And all the times you tried to tip over a cow Well it's all because of you Somehow I don't know how it's because of you But Instead of cows getting tipped It's Odysseus That was tipped Its solar panels No longer are exposed to the sun So It stopped operating Intuitive machine stock Fell as much as 30% In trading From its previous close It was at uh, 9.59 A share $9.59 A, a share And I had fun sharing that with you Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Look who is here Oh my god This is Phil S.G. Hardcap Soft Supervisor I have a lunar landing Snow globe That I'm giving away Mike Matthews Oh look at it It's like a snow globe And it looks like a globe Like a Like the moon And there's a little Tipped over Rover On there Named Odysseus that's like my Mike Matthews Because I like Greek words Mike Matthews That's fantastic Look who else is here Oh Mike this is Floyd the floor man And this is John Deere The engineer that, that was me trying to imitate you John Deere the engineer That's not even funny Mike Matthews Because I am John Deere the engineer <laughs> Yeah Alright Well I was trying to do an impression Corner. Why is everyone named something with a K? Kevin, Kathy, Katie. What is that about on this show? Have you ever wondered that? I really don't. Don't know. Let's end with this. Psychedelics in the office. Yes. Oh, I just drank. I just slurped a liquid on the podcast. And that is an homage to all the podcasters out there that that cough on the mic. Don't cough on the microphone. As a top business and finance professional turned microdosing expert, Peggy Van De Plash is sharing how microdosing is making waves in the boardroom and how organizations can reap the benefits while mitigating possible risk. What? This was emailed to me. From ferrocommunications.com In today's shifting landscape The integration Welsh on the world Of psychedelics into business organizations Raises questions of role, risks, and legality As the newest scientifically backed recipe For both personnel Oh, for, bo- for both personal and professional success Many are reaching for psychedelics As a mental performance enhancer Wow And after Let's see What does it I've been hearing about that 
Okay, well, it's all about this person who's talking about the... She launched the Brain Power Microdose, a premium microdosing product that helps support memory, mental focus, stamina, and cognitive health, mood, and brain functions while relieving symptoms of stress and anxiety. Hmm. But isn't that making you dependent on something? You know, my mom always warned me, and, and microdosing is no different from drinking Drinking coffee uh, Going outside and Vaping, smoking Or whatever it is that you do You do too much everything in moderation Favagoo Things to do Things to do. You might just say favagoo about it all But it's true She had a painting she did And I, I own it now, I have it Sadly, after she passed away I I made sure to get all her artwork And one of the things that she did was a, a painting that shows a bunch of crutches and then things like pills, booze, smoking, even though she herself smoked her whole life. And then cassette copy Well, it's not on cassette. Maybe you're addicted to listening to cassettes. I was certainly addicted to music. I used to always have to have the radio or some kind of music or CD player on. And then I realized this is this is cutting into my communications with people. It's cutting into my communication time. So just see what it is that you're doing, that you're maybe doing too much of. And that is it cutting into other things in your way of life and the things that you enjoy. Bands mutations. 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 I'm sure a lot of rock bands over the days past used a lot of these things and had their own little bits of mutations going on from their microdosing. But it's a thing. It's a new word for people doing drugs in the workplace. As you know, there's a real scary holiday coming up. And that's called Election Day. Yes, that's right, Paul Lynn. Election Day is coming up. And I have been warned in an email that I need to get my ballot in from California ballot tracks. Uh, Props out to Jarrell. This is a message from the California Secretary of State on behalf of Alameda County Registrar of Voters. March 5th. That is coming up soon. Presidential primary election. It's the last day for your ballot to be mailed and postmarked or returned to any drop box or voting location. Drop boxes and voting locations close at 8 p.m. on election day. Probably the most important thing I said on today's podcast. Do, do, do magnificate your vote. Get out there and magnify your vote. <laughs> Get your vote out there and magnify what you think. Even if I don't agree with you, you still, it's what you think and it's democracy and we all think differently. We all have the power to say what we want to say. It is a free, open expression society, freedom of speech. But a lot of people don't, they protest vote. I'm voting by not voting. And if you did that, it's very, it doesn't, it doesn't quite do the thing. We can debate that back and forth. And maybe the guy in the flying saucer will have an answer for us. Who knows? But that's pretty much the end of the podcast today. If you would like to chime in and give me your three cents. Yes, it's exactly three cents. I measured it out. And tell me what you think about anything we covered today. Here's the number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510 And with more ways to reach me and with one more interesting sound effect, it is A-Frame. Thank you for listening to today's daily podcast with Mike. No, I mean, it's called Mike's Daily Podcast, I think. Sound effect. I got through that. I got into it. (laughs) Oh, that was cool. The Royal Trump Trump Tweet tweet Decree. Decree. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.